Hello and welcome to another video on the Mobile Made Simple channel. So today is just a quick video that I did have a lot of requests for and it was regarding my home screen layout that you've seen on the case videos. So as you can see here, if it focuses on the camera, obviously we've got several widgets here. This is one that shows your notifications and it gives you quick access to like mail, browser, phone. So press mail, that opens up. This one gives you access to your app drawer. Obviously it tells you how many notifications you've got up there. The weather, forecast, and then this is just an upcoming agenda. So I'll sync my work calendar there. And that's just showing what's coming up. So I will go over this widget pack in a moment. So on the next screen, this widget is a, not sure how you say it, Palabre widget. Um, and it's an RSS news reader. Just that I use this as if you put Google News on the One UI home screen, the text looks too small. Obviously, I do normally use Nova Launcher on Android, but you know it's not really compatible with the fold. There is a tasker profile you can set up so you can have two different launchers, but every time you swipe up you get a redraw. And obviously, if you are into animations and that, then it does you know start to get annoying. So here, this is the Any Do calendar widget, which I highly recommend. Again, you can click through different days and see the up upcoming agendas, etc. Especially if you're working from home and you're losing track, then that's ideal. Here, I use Spotify, Soundhound, Samsung Health to monitor the steps. This is a stock Samsung widget for optimizing storage and RAM. This one's my fitness pal. And then here I've got the shortcut for the Galaxy Buds controls as they are quite finicky, the Galaxy Buds Live. So what I do with this is I use it to turn off accidental touches. And then when I'm walking, if I have to shove them further into my ears, obviously it's not going to pause. And then that's everything. So for the wallpaper, I use this Wally Pop app. I think it cost about £1.19 or something like that. Um, but there's not actually an option to save the images. You can either quick apply set with or crop the wallpaper. Unless you were to screenshot it or something, there's no actual way to save it to your photo, so I can't actually upload the actual file. Yeah, this is where the, the wallpaper's from, and they have got a lot of nice AMOLED wallpapers on this. So I will put all links for these apps in the description. And these widgets on here are set by kwgt i have got the pro version so you install this and then the pack i use is called fugly so all you do to set is obviously i won't add one now but you go to widgets find kwgt wherever it's gone it'll be in here somewhere there we go custom widget and then you choose the size you want example we will just put a small one for now so you just drag that there and then it will say click to set up so then when you click on the app to set up then you get access to all the fugly widgets that have been installed so just choose a signal one for now because it's small so then when this opens up you've got layers and globals so you go to globals you can change it between light and dark so press that to dark, there you go, so, so if you want it to match a dark theme. And then if you go further down, you can change the text size. So you may find with KWGT sometimes that obviously the text is rather small, so you can increase that here. And if it's still not working, you can go into the layer and then change the scale. Just to make it fit the screen correctly. So we'll discard that now. As you can see that's there and then you can stretch it. And also what I do use to change the grid slightly, if you haven't heard of it, it's a great app, is Samsung Goodlock. So install this, and then the Home Up Edition. So this just gives you a bit more option for your home screen, so you can change the grid up to a maximum of 7.7. App Screen Grid, so your, your draw, you can change that up. Then you've also got like background blur, loop pages and hiding labels. And then you can also modify your folders as well. So while it's not as extensive as Nova Launcher, it does give you a bit more control over it. Yeah, what I'll do is I will put a link to all these applications in the comments. And obviously it's just I've gone for a, a two-page layout. So if you think of it like 
a book obviously got this size set up like that and that's like that and on this widget if you do buy this you can change your name and the picture etc in the globals as well where you've seen earlier on the video but yeah if you do get stuck with anything just uh leave a message in the comments and i'll try and reply to everyone anyway thanks for watching